Patient number 66181, Pamela Isley, alias Poison Ivy. The patient is a white female with red hair and green eyes, 5 feet and 7 inches tall and 113 pounds. The patient was born in Seattle, Washington and raised by a well-mannered, upper-middle-class family. Her parents were affluent but emotionally distant. At a young age, the patient became fascinated by gardening and spent hours at a time in the family greenhouse. The patient was seen as incredibly attractive by her peers, though she was not very social and was often uncomfortable with such attention. The patient possessed a quiet and reserved nature, and generally preferred to spend her time alone with plants rather than people. Like how many children have a tendency to anthropomorphize their pet dogs or cats, the patient came to see the plants she cared for as companions that can think and feel as she does. This eventually developed into a case of delusional companion syndrome. Her relationship with plants likely serving as a substitute for her lack of socialization amongst human peers. Throughout her teenage years, the patient noticed others, mainly boys, only seemed to be interested in her due to her physical appearance underestimating her intellect. This only exasperated the disconnect she felt between herself and others. At age 18, the patient enrolled in Gotham University, studying botanical biochemistry under Professor Mark Legrand. Legrand seduced and sexually harassed the patient, reinforcing the patient's misanthropic worldview. The patient came to believe that all humans would use and abuse her, and that plants were her only true friends. Through her academic studies, the patient has subscribed to the theory of plant perception, or plant sentience. She believes that plants are consciously aware beings and treats them as if they were people. This informs the primary motivation of her eco-terrorist crimes, as she equates the destruction of plant life to that of murder. The patient has appointed herself as a sort of guardian of nature, doing whatever she thinks is necessary to protect the plants she loves. After obtaining her doctorate degree in botany at age 26, the patient began working as a botanist at the Gotham Botanical Gardens. This is around the time that the patient's criminal career began. When her co-worker forgot to water his houseplant, the patient attempted to poison him by contaminating his food with foxglove digitalis. The event was the origin of the patient's most common MO, using extracted poisons from plants to kill people. The patient also began to use her sexuality as a weapon finally finding a utility for the attraction men have always felt towards her. From her botany knowledge, the patient understood how to create scents and herbs that would affect people in specific ways, usually using them as aphrodisiacs to seduce men into helping her commit crimes. In her initial crimes, the patient began targeting men that she blamed for harming plant life, seducing and killing them by kissing them with a cosmetic lip peel laced with a plant-based poison. Some of her victims did survive this, though not without health effects. To protect herself, the patient tried to build an immunity to plant poisons by subjecting herself to small amounts over time. Over the course of her criminal career, the patient has increased the scale of her attacks, targeting entire companies responsible for deforestation and pollution. The patient has also used her knowledge of botany to selectively breed giant plant specimens, such as a giant Venus flytrap and a Drosera capensis capable of dissolving human skin with digestive enzymes, though it can only fit a hand in at a time. The patient worships Mother Nature and believes herself to be the protector of all plant life, treating plants and vegetation as her own children. The patient is also a fruitarian, meaning that she only eats foods such as fruits and nuts. This is because they are produced for the purpose of being eaten, which means that no harm befalls the plants. The patient's misanthropy is one of her defining traits. While her claims of wanting to protect plant life appear sincere, it is likely that her violent crimes are also partly motivated out of a simple spite for humanity. Either way, patient has fully dedicated herself to preserving plant life at all costs. She's willing to rob and kill in order to fund her experiments and will strike against anyone to preserve all manner of flora. Her expertise with plant properties and uses has made her a world-renowned expert on botany as well as a highly dangerous criminal. An interesting facet of the patient's misanthropic belief system is that it also extends to herself. The patient has several times exhibited a sense of self-hatred over her identity as a human being. This seems to emerge from feelings of guilt over the perceived atrocities that her fellow humans have committed towards plants. The patient has also expressed that she identifies with plants far more than she has with any human, going as far as to say that she would be happier living her life as a plant. However, despite her hatred of humanity, many of her efforts have been to preserve lush green foliage as opposed to wiping out humanity. She also occasionally experiences empathy, having befriended psychiatrist turned besotted lover of the Joker, Harleen Quinzel, alias Harley Quinn. The patient could relate 
to also experiencing manipulation at the hands of Mark Legrand and saw a chance to help a fellow woman, trying to break the abusive cycle Quinzel had fallen into. Medical Profile Patient is in good physical health, and the patient has built up a resistance to several poisons from various plants through mithridantism. Psychological Profile The patient has little regard for human life in comparison to vegetation. The patient has been diagnosed with delusional companion syndrome. Behavioral Profile Patient has a history of using seduction to get what she wants. The patient has agreed to therapy if she is allowed to the asylum gardens and greenhouse. This arrangement has been proven so effective that she has been employed in the asylum's groundskeeping crew. The patient has a criminal history with Harleen Quinzel, patient number 99312. Threat assignment, moderate. Treatment ranking, 3, ambivalent.